Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Lipstick Swatch family. My name is Shemaine. If you have been with me, I thank you for your continued support. So today's video, I'm gonna take a little bit of a detour. I'm still gonna be doing swatches, but this time I will be swatching something else. I will be swatching some nail polishes. I do love me some lipsticks, but I also do love a good nail polish and as you can see I have nothing on my fingernails they are clean and bare because I am gonna be swatching nail polishes for you so what I'm gonna be swatching I don't want to take too long um, with this intro but they are from London town USA uh, they reached out to me and sent me a few of their nail polishes there we go. These are the three shades that they sent me as well as a base coat and a top coat. So I will be swatching these live for you guys to see. I already did a review of them on my blog because I've had these for probably close to a month now, testing out each color and how they wear. So I. I have a review up on my blog that I did like a week ago. So you can check those out as well. It's on puckerupbabe.com. Make sure you check it out there. But yeah, today it's going to be all about nail polish swatches. And we're just going to jump right into it because I don't want to make this video too long. So thank you London Town for sending me these beautiful colors. And without any further ado, I will just jump right into the swatches so you guys can see what they actually look like okay so these are the three colors that they sent me this is the shade the queen this is a beautiful purple shade and then here i have star moss this is a gorgeous green shade that i love uh, this is actually one of my favorites to wear, especially for around the fall time. And then I have this very cute feminine color. Uh, it's more of like a pink, a slight like powder, I would say powder pink or baby pink color. And this is in the shade Jane Austen. And along with that, we have a top coat. So this helps to keep the nail polish in place and help it to last longer. And I have a base coat as well. So this is what you put on firstly before you even put the, the color on your nails. Okay, so what I did is I, I went ahead and gave myself like a quick manicure. Um, it's not the best. I use like a simple brush like this. Of course, I use soap and water to make my um, the skin a little bit softer. And then I used something like this. You don't have to get too fancy. Just to kind of uh, get all the skin from around the edges. And then I clean the nails a little bit. Um, but for me, I've always had very dry cuticles on both hands. And I have dry skin overall. But I've always been a huge fan of doing my own nails. The last time I went to the nail salon, my fingers actually got infected. As you can see here, my middle finger, this one is around the cuticle area. This one is darker than this one. So it's like all the skin around my cuticles on my right hand, they kind of got infected. And so um, I quit going to the nail salon and I just did my nails myself, which I always love to do in the first place. But sometimes time, we just don't have time. And we don't have time to be sitting around waiting for our nails to get dry. But uh, this is more of a health issue for me. So it's something that I um, take very seriously now. I just do my own nails and I don't have to worry about getting any sort of infection All right, so I just put like a towel down as well as a paper napkin So use a towel that you don't mind getting stained and ruined and Then I also forgot to mention that they sent this in the set 
So what this is, is a two-in-one serum hand and nail treatment. And um, this should give you more hydrated hands and fingers and for more of a healthier looking hands and nails as well. So I will just test this out real quick. So you're supposed to use this over a period of time for you to see the best results. I should have probably used this afterwards, but why not? Already did the prep work, so um, this should be fine. Okay, so what we're gonna do, um, since there are three colors, I'm just gonna put the three colors um, on each nail so you can see how they swatch. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I am gonna put the base coat on. This is the Cure Nail Hardener and Base Coat. I just dimmed my light just a tad bit so you can hopefully see the colors better. So I'm gonna put the base coat on um, on each nail. Oops, uh, no, I put too much on that one. So don't forget to take off the excess um, polish. So the base coat, this really helps to harden your nails. Like I said, I've been using this for like the past three weeks and I really did see a huge result on the quality of my nails. They were a lot harder and um, firmer so they didn't break as easily, which I love. Okay, so that's done. Then we're gonna move on to the other hand. So yeah, when I got that infection at the nail salon on my cuticles, that was it for me. Um, and it's not like I went to the salon a lot of times. I never did. I just went when I really didn't have time to do my nails. And that's when I would make like a quick trip. But I really do prefer to do my own nails. And one thing about London Town, it's one of the safest nail polishes to use. Um, it's nine free and what nine free is, is that it's free from nine of the most common used harmful ingredients um, that you can find in nail polishes. And that includes formaldehyde, there is resin, um, there is acetone, and a bunch of other ingredients uh, or harmful ingredients. But we all know formaldehyde is used for embalming dead bodies and resin and like xylene and acetone. They're all like flammable ingredients as well. So they're really not safe. And London Town is vegan it's cruelty free we're just gonna wait for these to dry by the way yes yeah, so like I was saying they are vegan cruelty free PETA certified and they're also made in the USA so they are one of the best nail polishes that you can find out there as far as safety wise these are some of the best and what I like about them is that they last a pretty long time. Okay, so I think these are, yeah, they dry pretty quickly, honestly. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start off with the purple one. I'm just gonna shake it. 
So this one is Save the Queen. All right, so the first one here is Save the Queen and I'm gonna show you how that swatches. Take the excess off. And, and the brush is nice and wide to cover a lot of real estate. Then you just want to kind of clean the edges there if you mess up. But that is Save the Queen. How gorgeous is that color, right? All right, then I'm gonna try Star Moss. And we're gonna put two coats. Like, as you can tell, one coat of this will certainly be enough, but we'll just do two coat for, you know, we'll just do two coat because we can. But one coat I think does a good job. So Star Moss is going on. So Star Moss um, definitely needs two coats as opposed to the purple one. I think one coat was good. But Star Moss, you want to put at least two coats on there. And that's how that is looking. Isn't that a beautiful fall green? I love that color. And lastly, but not leastly, we have Jane Austen, which is like a super feminine, girly, kind of powder pink color. I love this color. This is like a beautiful neutral. I like that the brush on this one and the brush on Save the Queen was very full and wide. The brush on the green one wasn't as thick and fluffy. And that's why it didn't really coat the nail very well. So you needed like two coats to actually show the color really well. And this one is Jane Austen. We're gonna do one more coat of that. Like I said, the brush is nice and fluffy and holds enough product. Okay, so that is Jane Austen. I really love this green color. I wore this a lot. I really love this green color and I love Jane Austen just because Jane Austen will literally go with every outfit. And um, I'm actually gonna take, um, hmm. I'm not sure which one I should use. I'm not sure if I should do Jane Austen or Star Moss. I really do love Jane Austen though. I think this is the perfect shade um, to start off with. If you're not sure which shade to go, I would do Jane Austen. Cause it's like your neutral when it comes to nail polish. All right, so now that they're a little more dry, we are gonna apply our top coat. 
which is this one. And we'll see the gel-like finish that it gives your nail polish. Okay, so the top coats are on. I think I needed one more coat of Jane Austen, so I might do that. Um, but look at how gel-like it actually looks once you put the top coat on. Look at that. I think it's really pretty. I should probably do Jane Austen for my nails. But I really like Star Moss. And I'm having a really hard time deciding. Okay, I think I am going to do Star Moss. Okay, so I took off Save the Queen and Jane Austen because I have decided that I will do the rest of my hands with star moss because this is just a beautiful green actually i need to put my base coat on first so we're gonna go back with the base coat and then we'll have that dry then i can start with star moss on this finger so, like I said, the brush isn't as fluffy and wide as the other two colors. So you'll just have to take your time to get your entire nail fully covered. These literally last me up to 12 days at least once I put this on. But you have to make sure that you use the base coat as well as a top coat to actually seal the polish and that's what helps it to last a little bit longer. So it, that's dry and that's dry already. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue. And that's how quickly it dries. And even the nail polish, it dries very quickly as well. So the wait time is very speedy. Moving on to the right hand. My least favorite hand is my right hand. It's just not as feminine as my left hand, so. I don't get as much joy into doing my polish on my right hand as I do my left hand for some reason. I know it's stupid, but you know, we all have like some 
parts of our bodies that we don't care about as much. And for me, that's my right hand. I always feel like it's more masculine than feminine more than anything else. And it's just hilarious to some people. I feel like it's because I, I'm right-handed. It's my dominant hand and I do everything with my right hand and I feel like it just gets overused. <laughs> and because of that, it lost its femininity if that's even a thing I know it's crazy but we're almost done so yeah let me know if you guys feel the same way about your hands do you are they equally the same or is one kind of like looking a little bit more beat up than the other one because mine is I feel like it's the same thing as having a favorite eyebrow that's how I feel about my hands I feel like my right hand is my man hand and my left hand is my feminine hand Alright, so now they're both um, polished, but it's looking pretty good. I think this finger, I need some polish right there on the edge. You know, that's always the hardest part. You don't always get the edge sometimes, so right here. I think that's all I needed there, but everything else looks fine. So once that is dried, then mm, I will go ahead and apply my top coat. And this one, yeah, that's dry already. And that's how quickly it dries. Even this is dry. Well, these two were not because I did these afterwards because I took off the purple one and the um, powder pink one. But yeah, it's just waiting now. Okay, so nails are dry and now we're gonna apply our Gel Genius Top Coat. This thing works wonders. I'm not even joking. It's such a necessity when it comes to making your nail polish last as long as mine does. It just seals everything in and make sure that there's no chips or anything like that. You're not going to be seeing chips on your nail for at least, I would say, probably a week. But that just depends on your day-to-day -day lifestyle, like what you do. Because um, our activities definitely contribute to our to how well our nail polish or how long our nail polish will last. So um, mild activities like dishes or whatnot. But mine seem to last pretty long. is pretty tell me that's not a good fall color tell me it's not a good fall color okay next hand
Okay, both hands are coated with the Gel Genius top coat. And um, we just gotta wait for that to dry. But isn't it a beautiful color? It does give it that beautiful gel-like finish that you would typically see at the salon or get from the salon. Um, and it definitely helps to lock the nail polish in and helps it to last a very long time. And like I said, they are nine free of all the harmful ingredients that you can find in most nail polishes today like formaldehyde these are also vegan cruelty free PETA certified and they are made in the US okay so it's a very good brand that cares about the environment cares about animals and they're here to provide very safe nail polishes for all of us to use so that we're not inhaling all those chemicals and into our bodies and just overall giving us great products that actually last for a pretty long time so they have always been a favorite of mine. I've used, like I said, I've used these in the past and I will always go back to using them. I might even get more colors because I, I love them. I will leave the links for all these in the description below. So if you wanna purchase them, you can go right ahead. They are gonna be affiliate links uh, you don't have to use them you can just go straight to the website but if you do i want to say thank you and if you don't then it's fine as well but definitely check these out they retail for 16 dollars but that's all i got for now i want to thank you guys for watching my nail polish swatches and let me know what you guys think about these in the comment section below i will be uploading more lipstick swatches so make sure that you subscribe and click the notification bell so that you are made aware whenever i post a video but with that said thank you guys and i will see you in my next swatch video bye